Hi everyone. Let's learn how to solve a Rubik's cube. So basics that you want to understand before getting to know how to solve a Rubik's cube. You must first know that there are six centers that is white which is opposite of yellow, blue which is opposite of green, orange which is opposite of red. So these opposite centers no matter how many times you shuffle the puzzle how many ever times you mix and match the puzzle the opposite sides will not change it remains the same So this will determine what color should come around it So if there is blue here then this is the blue solving area if that is orange then that is orange surface so let's take white center for solving the rubik's cube the first step in solving a rubik's cube is making a white plus or white cross so for that there is no algorithm you just have to search for white edge this is called an edge or edge piece which is between two corners since this is a pointed corner so this is called a corner piece so then in between two corners there will be an edge which is having two colors or two stickers as you can see here so here we found a white we should not consider these two whites because they are in the corners so how many times you turn the layers it will always go to corner the corner white will always go to a corner like this okay yeah so we found an edge white here so we turn in any manner so that it will match the white center on the top so we found a white edge again we try to turn it to the top we found a one more white edge turn it to the top we found one more white edge here but we need to take it to this position so if we turn to the right and then turn this way it will not match here so what we do is we either make it bring it to the left or the right layer and then what we do is we empty this space here the straight above this line where it goes like this we empty this space so by making the top layer rotation this way and we turn it so we make get a plus easily don't worry about the corners here i have got two corners you may not get a single corner which may look like this or you may get all four white corners that's not necessary as of now so we just want a white plus this way so there might be few cases this way where you have stuck got stuck in this position so here you have to do the same thing if you consider this as a clock that is 12 o'clock 3 o'clock 6 o'clock 9 o'clock you need to get it to the 3 o'clock or you need to get it to the 9 o'clock position and then you need to empty the space here and rotate it to the top so that you can get a plus what if it is in the bottom so if it is in the bottom you need not worry much you just have to bring it to the top this way but sometimes what happens is there will be filled whites here so that you can't bring directly to the top so already matched pieces will go off so what you have to do is just search for the blank piece non white and then bring the actual white to the top before we move to solve the white corners we have to first match all the four edges here it's already matched to white 
what we have to do is we have to match it to the respective centers so there are two particular cases here so i'll show it one by one right now there are no matching edges so this is blue and green red and orange blue and green again red and orange okay so i'm just gonna turn this and see whether there is a match anywhere you just have to see two that is nearest color of this white edge this one and the center yes we found one match here we found one more we found one more and one more so there is four matches which is obvious there is a lucky case you may not get that case every time so something like this see this is one match ignore the others one match two match this is not matching and this is not matching so there are two colors which is needed to be swapped exchanged that orange needs to come here and blue needs to go the other way so hold this uh, cube in this position that is one unsolved facing in front of you another unsolved on the right you have to do this formula which is shown in your notes as well as on the screen that is called a chocolate formula so to swap these two edges you use a chocolate formula right hand up give two chocolates right hand down give or take one chocolate back right hand up take one chocolate back right hand down and then you see you need to match this orange with orange adjust and see all four sides are matching okay that's one case and one more case you might get is this two edges matching but they are on the opposite so these are missing so you need to match opposite opposite edges so for that you just have to do r2 l2 r is for right l is for left down to so to exchange these two you need to do down to that is d2 again right to left to so that will solve the edges don't worry about the bottom ones that's if it's there not there don't worry just complete the two colors on all the four sides so that completes our first step so once we complete white plus our next task is to complete the white corners so for the white corners we have to search the white corners not on the top layer but on the bottom layer here just after seeing the white corner we don't apply the formula but we take it to the particular location the perfect place where the white fits and then solve the white so here the location for this white is somewhere here 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 or here so this which is already here is not in its right place because orange is matching red green is matching blue so it's only only the thing is white is matching white but if you imagine the full solved cube we don't have only white uh, task to complete we have the other colors also to be solved so simply we we just don't see the white we also see the colors along with it this is the corner piece the colors along with it are blue and red okay this red which is the nearest color of white we match it with the center let's take another instance for example so here we also have one white where the nearest color is red okay we then turn 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 until the red matches to red and then we apply the formula which formula to apply there is only two cases one is white is on the right or for example this white is on the left so now the white is on the right and the nearest color is matching the color center okay 
so we apply the right formula so the right formula is push the white from right to left bring the right side down reverse of first step or undo of first step undo of second step okay that solves the white along with green and red so we got one more white here but the nearest color here is orange it's not matching to center so what we do is correct we try to rotate rotate and match it to orange center then again it's on right so we apply the right formula 1 2 3 4 and 4 then we need to search and we have found one more white which is again on the right now this time we are going to match it to blue rotate 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 and yes it's matching don't worry that already there is white on top as i said that's not matching properly so it is not matching here as well as here only the thing is white is matching to white but the exact piece which which has to sit here is here so let's apply the right formula again 1 2 3 reverse of 1 reverse of 2 okay okay now we got one more white on the bottom which is on the left side don't apply the formula now because we didn't match the nearest color so then we have to turn 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 and match it to the nearest center nearest color to the center and then we need to apply the left formula now so left formula is exactly mirror of right which is push it to from left to right bring it downwards left side and then undo of first step undo of second step and that will solve the white color that's not it we have some tricky cases over here for example we don't have any white on the bottom we are stuck with one white corner which is here and we want it downwards to solve to apply formula for this we want that piece downwards so what we do is right where there is white we apply the formula to the bottom piece whatever the bottom piece it just assume that there is white here and we apply the right formula because this is the right layer right side formula for right layer and we get that white corner here same formula so now our green is matching green and then we apply the final formula okay that's not only it we have one more tricky case where it's not there on the top it's not there on the bottom but it's underneath the bottom layer here so again the trick is very same so we we imagine the white here or here nearest to this right below this empty space suppose if it is something away here where there is below a uh, white is on the top and below there is white so don't take it there straight below this empty space you can imagine white over here as well as here i'll take it here so i'll just do left formula because it's in the left layer 1 2 3 4 now it's on the top again assume on the bottom layer 1 2 3 4 now it's on the left you can see it's already matching you can apply the formula left 1 2 3 4 and that solves one layer